Hi everyone, this is Kevin and today we'll be going through implicit differentiation. This topic tends to be quite challenging for those that are new to calculus and today I'm going to give you a slightly challenging question but we'll try to work through it together. So if you want to find the derivative of this function, the function being y cos 1 over y is equal to 5x plus 5y. Now, right away, this you can tell this question is going to be challenging because we have here, we have a product of two functions and one of these functions has a function with it within itself so we know that this will require the chain rule so here this is one of the more difficult kinds of questions that can come but I think if I start with this question and if you understand it you'll be able to solve any other type of question that comes our way so let me just clear the screen Alright, so we're going to start, we're going to try to start now. So first, we want to do product rule. Product rule says I hold the first term, so I'm going to keep the y, and I differentiate the second term, which would be this cos 1 over y. Now this is chain rule, so I have to differentiate the inside first. 1 over y is y to the minus 1. If I differentiate that, I'm going to get minus y to the minus 2. Now with implicit differentiation, whenever you do a derivative of the function y, you have to add dy dx at the end of it. I will explain that in, a, in another video, but for now just take it as it is. So we so we, we were differentiating cos 1 over y. This is the first part of the chain rule. We differentiate the inside. Now we have to differentiate the outside function. So that would be this times the derivative of cos is minus sine. And we write back 1 over y. Now that is our first part of our product of our product rule. We still have to finish the product. So plus, I'm going to keep this term now because that's what the product rule says. And I'm going to differentiate this way. When I differentiate y, I simply get dy dx. And that finishes the derivative of this side. Now we have to do the same thing for the right hand side. Derivative of 5x is 5 and the derivative of 5y is 5 dy dx. So here I have it. I've expanded my function, found the derivatives, found the product rule, chain rule, and both the left and right hand side. All that's left now is to multiply out the brackets and simplify. So y times minus y to the power of minus 2, that simply gives me y to the minus 1. Note the negatives cancel. So I'm left with y minus 1 sine. 1 on y dy dx plus cosine 1 on y dy dx is equal to 5 plus 5 dy 
dx. So all I did was just basically simplify this part of the function. Now our aim is to get all the dy dx's on one side, preferably the left hand side. Most people like to see it on that side. So I'm going to carry this term over to this side and keep this term as it is. So I'm, I would have y minus 1 sine 1 on y dy dx plus cosine 1 on y dy dx minus so I carry this over 5 dy dx is equal to 5. Now as you may notice we have 3 dy dx terms well, our next step now in implicit differentiation is usually to factor out the dy dx so I'm going to factor out this dy dx and write back in my terms why you soon finish and our last and final step now be to divide both sides by all of these terms attached to dy dx. So if I divide both sides, this side will cancel and it will go at the bottom here. So my final answer would be dy dx is equal to 5 over y minus 1, 1 over y cos 1 over y minus 5 and here we have it guys